locked in a room 24 seven. No access to the outside world. No access to human contact. You might think we're talking about most Redditors, but we're not. We're talking about Solitary on Fox. This is a game show. <laughs> we're getting doxxed. We're getting doxxed. This is a game show on Fox where if you know their track record, their game shows, they love to torture people. <laughs> the Chamber. Yeah. Solitary. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Oh. Yeah. So Solitary is a show on Fox that takes contestants and puts them into, you guessed it, solitary confinement. And the contestant that can survive four weeks in solitary confinement wins $50,000. So again, would you want to torture yourself for a few weeks? No. Welcome to Solitary. Somebody's like in the middle of like jacking off and then they fucking popped into the solitary chamber. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, oh, god. Oh, 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 why did I touch my face? It's really funny how we did already watch like a Fox property that yeah. has that element of torture and they're doing it again. They doubled down. They said, oh, you didn't like actual torture? You know what? We'll do legal torture on yeah. television. <laughs> they said double jeopardy? Hmm. <laughs> Half of his body gets in. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Where's my legs? Holy shit! Where's my legs? Get his other half. Get his. So somebody click the button. Oh get down on the line. Where's my legs? <laughs> Your dick is still here. That's weird. While there are nine of you participating in this experiment, you will never see or communicate with each other in any way. There's no bathroom. Do not worry, number five. A laboratory has been integrated into my floor plan. Okay, very good. However, you can never leave your pod without my approval. While you are here, I control everything. To do anything in solitary, you must push the green button and ask my permission. Some dude's just so horny in there. He's like, can I jerk off? Can I jerk off? Can I jerk off? Can I jerk off? Now it's like, could you? Could you stop clicking the fucking? <laughs> could you stop clicking the fucking button? It's actually kind of spot on. That's kind of spot on. Stop clicking off in the fucking middle of the room. You got semen all over, dripping on the floor. What did I get myself into? If you do not like my rules, you may quit solitary at any time by pushing the red button. So do I make myself? <laughs> 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 I'm out. I, I, I actually want to be here. Yeah. What the hell? Like, I got semen dripping on the floor. Get the fuck out of here. I'm I out. I jerked off already. I'm good. I, yeah. I can leave. You guys didn't even clean the last goddamn person that was here last season. <laughs> this cum fuck stains this. on the wall. Right? Yeah. My subjects have been told nothing about the tests and treatments they'll be forced to endure. Each of which is designed to push them to their absolute <laughs> physical. They'll be pushed to their actions and starts big drink dancing <laughs> on the floor. He just hit in every fucking dance movie possible. He's like, I can honestly only survive if I had to keep dancing. <laughs> no music. There's just silence. <laughs> just fucking. You just a... hear the, the like, uh, um, sweeps of the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will now give each of you a personal phone call. This will be your final contact with the outside world. Whom would you like to call? Um, I like to call my mom. I would like to call Tony. I'm gonna call my girlfriend Kimberly. I would call I would call now one. <laughs> Yo, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna stop me, Val? <laughs> Who gonna stop me? Get the one call? Get one call. 911. <laughs> Fire department, I have illegally been put in solitary. Come and get my ass. They're like you fucking won. Holy because shit. I didn't press the button. So I'm smarter than everybody here. Coming up. An experiment that will reveal each guest's threshold of cruelty. Finally, our guests face their first treatment. <laughs> Who will be the first to quit solitary? The first to quit solitary. I didn't fucking know that they were gonna do that. <laughs> and, uh, Fox tortures contestants I again. <laughs> Fox made a game show that tortures his contestants. Dot 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 again. again. <laughs> It's mad weird to do it one time. How do you have been doing it this shit twice? You would think, just for everybody's, uh, uh, you know, everybody's caught up. Here's one second clip of the chamber. Each year, do Americans remember? Tell me what your shirt says. <laughs> uh, my shirt says, "Don't call me a cowgirl until you've seen me ride." Is that a sexual message? 
Do you take it as a sexual message? Eliminated! No <laughs> sex in the pod. No, I was trying to mack with her. Oh, what do you think about ram? Because I have something that you can ram. That's two videos in a row. I would love to see my P and you. That, all right, that, not get out. In this situation, I'm here to win. I'm not here to enjoy the wonderful color scheme of the walls, which actually blue's cool, I like. I'm not here to look at bullshit on the wall. Call really nice colors. <laughs> They're actually kind of gorgeous if you think about it. <laughs> the the color scheme is actually really good. I, they, they're pleasant to the eyes. And oh no! You, you got, got to me you again. again! You got <laughs> to me. <laughs> Val, you bastard! You bastard! <laughs> he's, he's always getting sabotaged. But it's like it's like it cuts to him like three minutes later. <laughs> they bring out like just like some like chair or something, and he's like, "Fuck! I'm not sitting in no chair, even if it's very good design." Ergonomically, no. it looks wow. great. It's the wood is such a good finish. <laughs> it's not even wobbly. What? Ah, you did it again! <laughs> Value <laughs> bastard! You bastard! <laughs> ah, with the gorgeous chair in the wall, which is so pretty. <laughs> I am here because I'm not weak, and I need to prove to myself that I'm not. I am definitely here to prove something to myself and to the world. Um, and to test my limits and to see what I'm capable of. And I'm not leaving on my own volition, that's for sure. She was like, you know, I'm ready to, ready to do it. And then Val's like, okay, so our first challenge. Boom. It's non-vegan. And then she just like, absolutely just destroys the entire- ah! <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> Disappears. <laughs> Gets vaporized back. <laughs> oh, she entered. Let me, let me I'm, ready, I'm ready to do anything, <laughs> up for any challenge whatsoever, regardless of what it is. <laughs> you have to eat well done steak. <laughs> I have invited my guests to participate in a game called Takeaway, during which they can possibly handicap their opponents by giving or denying access to three personal items each has brought into solitary. Number one is a 21 year old dancer and travel agent. These are the items number one has brought. Oh, tw you should brought a 21 year old child. <laughs> oh no, I was like a 20 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> a shotgun. She That's brought. the one item. A 20 gauge shotgun, fully loaded. Do you want to sabotage her? Everyone's like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> if this ends up in a battle royale, I'm losing. Number three is a 29 year old fashion designer who loves to ride motorcycles. These are the items number three has brought into solitary. I actually wish I had every single one of those items too. I would like to take away the personal blanket from number three. Well, number three obviously would like to have a sense of comfort while they're here. Take all three away. I would bring a puzzle. Okay. Thousand piece puzzle. Gotcha. I would get really mad at that. So then I'm gonna bring a gun to shoot myself. <laughs> I would bring a, a ball, like a handball, and just play handball. See that around. that's 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 a good that's, that's smart. Fun. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. And then the minute Val is like saying something, I'm like, <laughs> pop in Val. <laughs> and then okay. my pillow. My personal pillow. Yes. That was I was gonna say that too. Yeah. What would you bring? Three items. Alright. Pillow. That's mm. for a fact. Fuck, can I bring a book? I would bring a book. Yeah? Uh, what book? It would be the Berserk. So it's gonna be... He heard me. These are the items number four has brought into solitary. I'll let number four keep pumping the iron. He's gonna need it if he's wanna compete up against me. I would hope that by taking away all three, that would uh, uh, hurt his advantage. Dude, that's the way to fucking do it. Bro, but then, what? Yo, look, you make own... everybody quit, and think about it, the game doesn't have to go on so long, it's better for you. But, like, I understand it's a competition, but I don't understand why you have to immediately get rid of all of their Yeah, items. I guess it's like- That is such sure. a petty bullshit. All, all of them is a little much. Number five is a 36-year-old martial arts instructor and Buddhist. These are the items number five has brought into solitary. I don't want to take anything. Give them everything they want. The training stick. They're a martial arts training stick. I would ask that you would take away all three. Bro, it doesn't matter. You're Bro, so I'm right. telling him. He's an asshole. I brought, He's an asshole. I brought basic needs because I want to keep it minimal. I brought food, drink, and a blanket. And this it's super minimal. You know, just to let you know. All three. 
But, uh, no, Val, get water? Rid of all three. Okay, okay, I, I'll, I'll do it again. Alright, I brought my inhaler because I really need that. I brought my EpiPen, mm -hmm. right? And I brought my medication for mm -hmm. when I go to sleep because yeah. I really need that to go to bed. Yeah. And I have just really bad anxiety, so. Yeah. Like yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Val, take away all three items. No, one of them is gonna kill me if all I don't have three it. Items. <laughs> Number seven is a 35 year old English teacher who loves to break dance. I don't think it will make a big difference. I think they should have their items if they can get them. I don't want to take any items. I would take away their guitar, the sketchbook. This motherfucker has the balls to take away everybody else's fucking items. And then he has the fucking cookie cutter bullshit that literally is the absolute. I need to entertain myself for the entire time. Fuck! He brought the Bible and a guitar. What are you gonna play? Genesis 7? Moses went up the mountain. He's gonna write, you know, he's gonna write a Christian album while he's in solitary thing. That's why he got the sketchbook. I'm and that's insane. Like, Does God even exist? I'm fucking <laughs> insane. And one of you made the harsh decision to take everything from everyone. The truth is, none of you will be losing any of your personal items. Very good. However, I still control when you can have them. This was an experiment to test your tendency for cruelty or kindness. Number seven, I find it interesting that someone who brought a Bible into solitary was the only one who chose to take everything from everyone. Bro, call his ass. Wait, wait, what do you say? Proceed to your interview room and explain yourself. Oh, oh he gets to explain himself. Yeah, go, go in there. Go, yeah, in, go there. in there. Go bro. in there. Your actions were the cruelest in this experiment. Does that cause you any guilt? Answer the question. I regret the fact that it can be easily understood as being cruel. I want to just say sorry to those who, who know me, my family, my friends who I might have let down. It's like, I get it. You're trying to win shit, but, but like, like, just survive. Exactly. Like, it's just. He even said at the beginning, yeah. you're fighting against yourself. He didn't even give a good reasoning as to why he did it. He just went, I want to apologize. <laughs> it's a YouTuber apology. So based off the title, I made it the date, um, and the reason I did that is because you guys know me, right? And I would never do something that was a really bad l lapse of judgment. What did David Dobrik say? That one. Yeah. That was a really bad lapse of judgment on my part. <laughs> guys, I really fucked up. Attention please. Yes? The first meal of solitary is now ready. You may retrieve the feast I have prepared for you from your meal slot. Bon appetit. It's just a burger with a fist through it. <laughs> I don't like you guys. <laughs> like they show a video of them cooking. Like the chef is like, look, you guys get a burger. Here's the bun. Here's the patty. Here are the condiments. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Open your meal slot. Listen carefully. While you are sleeping, alarms will sound. You may deactivate the alarms by typing a specific code into the keypad. The current code is 32. If you fail to input the code correctly, the alarms will remain on for the duration of the treatment. The only other way to silence the alarms is to push the red button and quit. On average, it takes 30 minutes to enter a deep and restful sleep. I've given them 19. The new code is 32608412649. No. I'm fully awake, fully rested, and I cannot remember what the hell she just said. Bro, I have a hard time Wait, 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 ready? Just just see if you can remember. No, I can't. You can't? No. I just want to see you try. I know for a fact. I just want to see you try. The new code is 32608412649. In reverse. <laughs> In reverse! Oh, you fucking me? Okay. No, that's for them, but, 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 but what is the other way? Was this it 246? No, you got it wrong. It's 32608412. That's what I'm saying, mate. You can, Look, you can go fuck yourself. 32604. Four one <laughs> zero. Hi, three two. Oh, you looked back at it. Yeah. The code you just typed has been changed. The new code is the same as the last code, except you must now replace the number six with five. 
and a number one with seven. What the hell? <laughs> Slay time. Okay, ten digit code that I have to remember. All right, all right. Backwards. Okay, doable. Yeah. And then uh, we'll replace all the fives with sixes. <laughs> okay. All on. the six with fives. Oh, and then what else? The seven. One with seven. <laughs> Red button. <laughs> You're not making me do memorization in solitary confinement. I quit after the five, the fifth number. The fifth. I, I'm gonna be honest, and this is so serious, bro. Fourth number, I'm out, bro. This is like literally a phone number, like yeah, to memorize. Do, who, do you know your phone number backwards? Seven. I know seven's the last one. Four. All right, keep going. <laughs> keep that in. When does this end? Using the last code, add one to each even number. Subtract one from each odd number, but let zero remain zero. I must tell you, you are the first guest to quit. Your stay in solitary. Is over. Whoa, reaction, what the, what the fuck was that reaction, bro? <laughs> oh. <laughs> On the next solitary. Sometimes I do feel like I'm cracking. And take a disturbing trip to the solitary cinema. Oh, Lord, oh, the God. video was shocking, twisted, horrific. I don't see anything right about that. Did you show one of our videos? Stop it! How many game shows? No! I don't see anything right about that. Please like the video and subscribe. Hit that fucking green fucking subscribe button or red fucking not like the actual well, red button. No, no, right? no, it's red, but then when you subscribe, it's gray. So don't hit the gray button. Hey, don't hit the gray button. Hit the red button. And you should have already had the red button. Yeah. Hit. If you what didn't, the hell are you doing? If you didn't, it's fucked up. That's fucked up. It's fucked up. And if you do hit the gray button, we'll hey, fucking hey, murder hey. you. Yo. 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 Yo.